Hi there. Yeah, the weather is pretty bad right now. So, you want to go to the beach? Okay. Well, I'm going to get you ready for it then. Alright, great. We're going to go to the beach out of town. It's not raining there. brighten our mood and get our vitamin D in our skin. So, I'm going to start off by giving you some SPF cream on your face. And this one is SPF 30. And this will work wonders for you and your face it really covers up all of the face, no residue, and makes your skin tone even, and remove dark spots, and premature aging. It has shea butter and coconut oil. It's very good for vitamin E, very moisturizing. So, open it up here. I'll give you some product. And it's quite so, we don't want to put more than this because it will really cover up the face quite nicely for you. And you can even put some extra on your hands after you're done with that. So, I like to go around in about 10 circles and then tap on the face. You want to really get it deep in there, in your pores first. And it can get quite sticky. But after that, you want to just rub it in here, real nice on you. There we go. Wow, that wind outside is no joke, it's thunderstorming. We need to get ready to leave. After you're done, of course, you can rub it on your hands. There we go. Yeah, I like to put some on mine, too. I'm not going to put any on my face because I have some slight makeup, but um, I'm going to explain about that pretty soon. Uh, next, I want to give you some Burt's Bees Chapstick. And this is Honey Moisturizing Lip Balm, 100% natural. And although Burt's Bees can be on the pricier side, very good for the lips. And it has a deliciously sweet lip balm formulated to help nourish dry lips with honey and vitamin E. A natural moisturizer that leaves lips feeling soft and nourished. And here are the ingredients in case you want to go ahead and check it out for yourself. See if you have any allergies. Okay. Florida thunderstorms are no joke, trust me. <laughs> Alright, so here's the label. I'm going to peel it off by the sticker so I can open it. And, oh, by habit of force of habit, I was tempted to put it on myself. It smells exactly like honey, the natural bees honey. If you think about it, honey is just bee vomit, isn't it? So you're putting an animal's vomit on your lips. Right. Pucker up. I find it doesn't matter how you apply chapstick because it's not makeup. It'll go on either way. My oh my. It's getting pretty nasty out there. I better hurry up. So this next one is 
Nice SPF 15. And this is the one I use, which I'm about to explain now. You can see my beautiful tan. Uh, this part you can ignore, um, but the rest of my face is a nice exotic glow. As you can see on me, all over. And my arms and my hands. As you can see, they match my face. Okay. So that is the kind of look I'm going to give you as far as the tan goes. I tanned one hour a day for seven days in a row. And this is what I came out with after using this product. So I can guarantee you it will look great on you and anyone else as well. So this is... Uh, from Australian Gold. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes. It has a slight fragrance, which I hope you won't mind. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and spray some of this on you and you will soon be ready to go on the beach and have a nice tan out of town. You ready? Okay. This I'm not going to use in your face, of course, because I already applied the products on there. This is just solely for the body. It will clog your pores like crazy if you use it on your face. Please, thanks. I'm gonna go up the shoulder. Starting from the hand, going up this side, up to the very top, to the shoulder. Okay, and I'm gonna rub it all after I fully spray you, spray tan you. Can you flip your arm over? Thanks. Let me get under there. And again, go down to the hand. Okay, I have to be very strategic with the amount I use because I want it to be as even as possible. Other arm. Flip the arm, like you did with the other one. Thank you. Isn't it great to have a beach nearby when weather gets this bad? Yeah. I think it's because it's mercury retrograde. Stuff can get pretty nasty at this time. All right, I'm gonna just go around you and spray on the back, okay? your legs, so if you don't mind, I'm going to get a little bit up close and personal here for a few seconds. Okay. Give me your right leg, please. Thank you. And I'm going up from the thigh and down to the feet. And the knees and the feet. Now, you never want to spray the palms of your hand or the pads of your feet because that part will never tan. Just, it just never will. Don't even try. Okay, give me your other leg, please. Thank you. And the thigh. Knee. And down to the feet. Hopefully that's not too cold for you. <laughs> it might tickle sometimes. Now I'm going to slide back. Okie artichokey. Uh, you look crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that and rub that as 
SPF all around you. Sorry, I'm tickling your belly. And make sure to get the sides whenever you do this or have someone spread the cream all around you because it's very important to get even coverage. about rain is the sound of it. It can be quite relaxing, but I'm not in the mood for that today. So let me go back around to your back. And I find with SPFs, you don't really have to massage it in quite deep. You can just do a topical addition of layers. You don't have to really dig deep. It'll sink in and settle within itself within 15 minutes. So you don't have to worry about that. And we always have to spray before we go on the beach so we don't sweat it out. We need to give it time to absorb, which is why we're doing it now. Okay, back down to the legs. I just have to explain several things to you. This aloe gel is soothing and cooling and it is if you happen, God forbid, to get a sunburn, especially if it stings a lot. Aloe vera is worldwide for its powerful healing and soothing qualities. This gel helps to soothe, cool, and heal skin that's been exposed to outdoor elements. Apply year round to extend your summer color or prevent winter dryness. For use on sunburns, wind burns, minor burns, and other skin irritations. Okay, you can use this after the shower. Um, but in emergencies, again, like I said, if you're on the beach and you are not going to be home for a while, or if you're stuck in the car for a while, or have to do something else or some other errands in the meantime, you may apply this over um, your SPF. It works the same way. These instructions are just to which you must, must, must use after the shower only. After you've washed everything off your skin. And this penetrating formula helps to hydrate, replenish, and repair your skin after exposure to the sun and other outdoor elements. Unique vitamin D3 fortified formula helps strengthen and keep skin soft and healthy. It prevents peeling, dryness, and will maintain summer color weeks longer with regular use. This lotion extends your tan and contains tea tree oil and antioxidants so you must wear this if you want a longer tan like me I have applied this every day after each shower after each tan and this tan will stay around for quite long so uh, here are the other ingredients in case you would like to know it's so important to you okay okay and here are the other ones if you wanted to know those ingredients as well I forgot to show there's much to get to and much to explain. So, um, you're all done with that. Just take those with you. And I'm getting some nice gender neutral sunglasses for you to wear on the beach. Black suits anyone and everyone, even dogs. <laughs> uh, but you must wear these if you want to protect your eyes. That thunder, though. And don't wear them all the time, especially not while tanning, because you don't want that stereotypical I just took a tan on the beach look where your eyes are white as a raccoon. And yeah. So the next
next thing, which is very essential, is an umbrella. And yes, I went ahead and bought this for you. Okay. So this is a nice big beach umbrella. Okay. And I like the color. And it's gender neutral too, so anyone can have it. I just wasn't sure what kind of colors you liked or anything, so I wanted to be safe. And pretty much got everything gender neutral for you. So. And in case you've never used one of these before, um, it has this. you stab through the sand and this latches it once you put the umbrella through the hole. And this you can just undo the velcro, whirl it out, and push from the bottom up to open it. And this is a very large umbrella see and it'll lock on the top you just push it a bit more and it will cover you and several people I'm sure so I want this for the fish and it protects against ultraviolet rays but not for too long so be mindful of that as well some rays can still penetrate through umbrellas most umbrellas. And I did that to save you money because they charge $12 per hour for use of their public umbrellas on the beach and ain't nobody got time for that. So, again, got you this gender neutral beach mat. Mm. Looks a bit Hawaiian, but it's like this. And you just simply roll it out and it comes with this comfy pillow and that is the mat and it is longer than the average human being so you should have plenty of leg room space on here when you're done it's easy to shake off due to the texture and quality of this mat without a towel, especially if you're going to swim, so. I got you this towel. So. You can wrap yourself around, especially if you get a little bit cold or if it starts to magically rain. simple but effective. Also, you cannot go to the beach without reading the latest edition of Vogue. So, there's tons and tons of advertisements in here, which I'm not about to flip through all of them. But you get the message. Sorry, you like the sound of the towel? <laughs> That's an unusual question. Yeah, towels are very comforting. It just reminds you of being a baby, even though you can't remember being a baby. Just being snuggly and huggy. water, which you will dehydrate if you don't take with you, so I got you ice cold water, and there's more in your bag right there in front of you. So you must take this with you to the beach, or I'm going to scold you. And you cannot call me to pick you up and give you more water. <laughs> and the last
last thing is a little snack. And it has a little bit of chocolate in it, so this will get your blood sugar up in case you need it. And here are the ingredients. Very crispy, crunchy, and tasty. And you can always buy more food at the beach if you like as well. But this is just an emergency snack in case you need it. You always have to bring a snack and some water to you wherever you go, especially if it's a warm tropical zone. So that's it. There you go. You smell fresh and ready to go. Especially if you're going to stay for several hours at a time, you do need to protect your skin and your body and health overall. Uh, you don't want to go in for uh, burns, so uh, you're definitely going to want to watch out for yourself. And of course, reapply this every hour and 20 minutes, and I would do the same with this every hour and 20 minutes both water resistant so after they're applied which you are now and by the time you go to the beach you can jump in the water right away it will not wash off so with that said thanks for coming and well what are you waiting for let's get out of this rain come on